who was Kofi Annan? Kofi Annan was born in Ghana on April 8, 1938. He attended a number of schools and colleges studying international relations in the United States of America, Switzerland, and became an international civil servant working for the United Nations in 1962. He went in to became the UN Secretary General and later a special envoy to Syria. Annan died on August 18, 2018 in Switzerland at the age of 80. Annan's career with the United Nations began in 1962 when he got a job working as a budget officer for the World Health Organization, a UN agency. Annan has been an international civil servant ever since with the exception of short break from 1974 to 1976 when he worked as a director of tourism in Ghana. For a nine years period from 1987 to 1996, Annan was appointed to serve as Assistant Secretary General in the three consecutive positions, Human Resources Management and Security Coordinator. While he served in that last capacity, the Rwandan genocide against Tutsi took place. Canadian ex-General Romeo Dalle, who has been the first commander of the United Nations Assistance Mission for Rwanda, accused Annan of being overly passive in his response to the 1994 genocide against Tutsi. Some 10 years after the genocide against Tutsi, in which more than 800 people were killed, Annan admitted that he could and should have done more to sound the alarm and rally support. Adan served as Under Secretary General from March 1994 to October 1995. The United Nations Security Council recommended Anan to replace the previous Secretary General Dr. Dr. Boutros Boutros Ghali of Egypt in later 1996. The General Assembly voted in his favor and he began his first term as Secretary General on January 1, 1997. Among Anana's most well-known accomplishments were his issuance of five points call to action in April 2001 to address the HIV-AIDS pandemic and his proposal to create a global AIDS and health fund. He and the United Nations were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in December of 2001 for their work for a better organized and more peaceful world. Anand is also known for his position to the 2003 invasion of Iraq and Iranian nuclear program. He told the BBC in September 2004 that the Iraq war did not conform to the UN Charter and was illegal. Anand retired on December 31, 2006, several months prior. He gave a farewell speech to the world leaders at the UN headquarters in New York outlining major problems with an adjust world economic and widespread contempt for the human right. Following his retirement and then return to Ghana, he became involved with a number of organizations with a global focus. He was chosen to lead the formation of the Alliance for the Green Revolution in Africa, became a member of the Global Elders and was appointed president of the Global Humanitarian Forum in Geneva. In 2009, Anand joined a Columbia University program at the University School of International and Public Affairs. In February 2012, Anand was appointed at the UN Arab League envoy to Syria in an attempt to end the civil war taking place there. He developed six points plan for the peace. He resigned from the position, citing instruments of the both of Syrian government and liberals. Alan passed away after a short illness in hospital in Bern, Switzerland on August 18, 2018. His wife Nane and children Ama, Kodjo and Nina were by his side. Kofi Annan was a global statesman and a deeply committed internationalist who fought throughout his life for a fair and more peaceful world. During his distinguished career and leadership of the United Nations, he was an Alan champion of peace, sustainable development. Thank you for listening Precision TV. This is Bahati Kalisa. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's Precision TV. Like on our Facebook page, Precision TV, and Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.